everybody. Happy New Year. It's 2018. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Um, for those of you who don't know me, which is a lot of you because I'm new to the YouTube world, my name is Nicole. I'm a mother of five and my channel is basically going to be lifestyle, motherhood, cleaning, hauls, decorate with me, anything that you can think of, that's what my channel is going to be. I'm a very eclectic person and I'm kind of so I hope that you join me along with this and subscribe down below so you can go ahead and follow me in the journey of figuring out one, YouTube, and two, seeing my crazy life. Tonight we're running on the right track. going to be my 2018 resolutions. Um, I feel that as a goal setter myself, it's really good to set goals for yourself, um, whether it's monthly, yearly, weekly, to um, successfully be the person that you want to be and get the things that you want to get in life. Because without goal setting and trying to achieve those goals, you're just kind of going to be wandering around. So if you haven't done your resolutions yet, Go ahead, hook yourself up with a nice little list, figure out how you're going to work them all out throughout the year and get it done. So I'm going to get into this video. My first resolution is going to be kind of the obvious with most people, right? It's going to be getting healthy. Now, when I say getting healthy, I don't mean, oh, I have to lose 100 pounds and I have to work out so much. No, I want to get healthy for my children as well as for myself. So I want to be able to eat healthier because I feel like with the holidays that just passed, I have not eaten healthy at all. I want to be able to exercise more so I can keep up with my kids because I do feel like after my last son, I have gained a lot of weight and it is not very friendly when you're trying to keep up with your kids, especially when you have five of them. Um, and I definitely want to drink more water this year. I have been drinking a lot of soda and coffee over the last few months to get through a lot of the stuff that's been going on. And I just, I need to stop and I need to drink more water because if I don't, I'm going to like dehydrate myself or something and like dry up into this little. <laughs> so that's goal number one. Uh, the second one that I have for myself is growing my business. So I recently just left a job that I worked at for six years, an actual job to open up my own business and to start a YouTube channel. I jumped out on faith and here I am today. So I would love to grow my business as well as my YouTube channel this year. Um, I want to provide a lot of content and great videos for you guys as well as grow, um, what could potentially be a very successful business for myself. So I am hoping that I can follow the plan that I have for myself and this year will be great. I feel like this year is going to be great. I feel like it's going to be the, you know, the snowball effect to every year to come to just have great things come on year after year after year. Uh, the next goal I have for myself is going to be time for myself. I have not been giving myself time at all. Um, I feel like I give myself time when I'm being lazy, um, when I'm just sitting on the couch and not doing anything. But then I can only do that for so long because then I get tired of sitting there. So then I go wash dishes or I clean the room or do laundry or I do this. So I want to take more time for myself as far as like giving myself a spa night, spa night, you know, painting my nails, taking a bubble bath, putting a mask on, um, I'm drinking a nice glass of wine. You know, I don't drink very often, but that would be an exception. Um, doing those things, I feel like, would make me feel me again. You know, um, when you have so many children and you're on the go and you have sports and you have school and you have errands and activities and you, are, you have a husband and, 
you know, a dog, uh, you as a person get pulled in so many different directions that eventually you forget about you. And I don't want to forget about me this year. I really want to focus on that. Even if it's just going to movies by myself, like I'd be happy with that too. Um, so that's another goal. Spend time with myself. The next goal is going to be family outings. I definitely want to work on bringing my family together again um, by going on outings, whether it's a picnic at the park or playing basketball down the street or it's going to the dollar movies or the exciting thing we have coming up in July, going to Hawaii. Yay! I'm so excited about that. I cannot wait. Um, we got a tent for Christmas. We can go camping. I am just hoping that we can spend more time going on outings. And um, although we try to spend time in the household playing games or watching TV together, there's nothing like actually being a family and going out and into the world <laughs> and experiencing all those fun things that the world has to offer offer for families. So that is definitely another thing on my resolution list this year is to do family outings, which then leads into my next one, which is bringing my family, my marriage, and the Lord all together. I feel like through all the hub and bub and shuffle and mumble and jumble, um, our religion and the Lord and, you know, the Bible has gotten lost in our marriage and lost in our family relationship. And I feel like we need to grab that back in and pull it back in and take a verse out and, and apply it to this and apply it to that and um, make sure that our kids are understanding and our marriage is understanding to what the Lord needs to bring back into it. Because I feel like it's gotten lost with all the craziness that has occurred within our life. And, um... The last one is going to be, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Da -da! Getting organized. That's right, people. I need to get organized. We moved into this house about two years ago, about a month before I had my little one. So I was nine months pregnant because my little one came late. But I was nine months pregnant and... Uh, you know, I finally got the boxes undone right before I had him. I never actually really got to organize anything. I've tried to organize my pantry. I've tried to organize a couple cabinets here and there. Um, our towel cabinet I've tried to organize. But I feel like it's never had a real organization overhaul and decluttering. So it keeps going back to not organized. Um, the kids don't know how to, they're, you know where to put stuff because it looks like that's where you put it but then it, it doesn't look like that's where you put it so I am going to get organized this year I'm going to declutter get organized and you guys are going to come along with me to do that so look out for all those videos room by room closet by closet section by section we together are going to do this and we're we're gonna make this happen this year so those are my 2018 resolutions go ahead and leave your resolutions down in the comments below I hope that you guys have made some great ones for yourself that you know that you'll be able to achieve or it's something that you can take the steps to achieve within the next few years and let me know what they are because maybe there's a resolution that you have that I didn't think about that I need to add to mine right now. And hopefully there's something on my resolution that you didn't think about that you can add to yours. So you guys have a great day, a great new year. Subscribe, leave comments, thumbs up, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Nicole.Danielle to join me for daily fun and pictures of my crazy life and my crazy family. So... See you guys later and Happy New Year!